Hey guys, I'm Q. I'm Katie. And we are being the Robinsons, and we're getting ready to meet the baby for the first time. Yay! Yay, we're so <laughs> enthused. All right, stay tuned. Like and subscribe to our videos, being the Robinsons. So, unfortunately, we can't film back there. Um, they were nice enough to let us film in the entryway, but we will post the pictures of the ultrasound after. So, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next clip. All right, Eli, say hi to the fans. Hi. <laughs> So we just finished our first ultrasound appointment. Um, I'm a little bit earlier than I thought. I'm seven weeks, five days, right babe? Yeah. Um, so yeah, because we couldn't record in there. By the way, we went to Pregnancy Solutions in Southwest Florida. They're amazing, really nice, awesome customer service. Great job, service. guys. Um, shout out to Alicia, Jennifer, and- My boy, Ben. <laughs> um, so yeah, check them out. They're a nonprofit organization. We'll put their um, website in our description down below. But anyway, um, so Alicia was nice enough to type these little phrases on our ultrasound. It says, I don't know if you can see it, but it says, Hi, Mommy and Daddy. <laughs> Elijah's excited to be a big brother. All right, if you look closely, you can see the baby. Right here, the arrow pointing at the baby. The baby is what, like the size of a raspberry? A wild strawberry. Wild strawberry. So, it's about the same. Yep. Oh my gosh, we got to hear the heartbeat. Um, the heart rate is, am I saying heart rate? Yeah. Heart rate is 166. Up. So, we, we don't know. Could it be a girl? And I'm the heart rate is high, so it's predicted if the heart rate is high, uh, that it could be a girl. Yeah, and I'm craving a lot of sweets, but we'll, we'll do that on another video. I'll explain everything. Um, so thank you so much for coming on this journey with us. We really enjoy it, um, and we appreciate your support. Um, stay tuned for the end of this vlog. I think I'm going to do a try-on haul. I ordered some really nice um, maternity wear from Shein. So, stay tuned. MorningLightMusic.io
Music.io. Music.io. Two hours later. Hey guys, welcome back to Being the Robinsons. Um, I'm Katie. I'm going to be doing a try on haul for you guys. Yay! Um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time. So I'm seven weeks, five days, and I'm having. A hard time fitting a lot of my bottoms and some shirts so I decided to go ahead and order um, a few items on a few outfits on Shein.com and it came pretty fast like I'm amazed I did regular standard shipping and it came in about a week and a half I think so yeah let's get into this video So I think I got like, I want to say two shirts, four pairs of pants, and one romper. Um, this is the packaging. It's actually really cute. She in. Um, ooh, it's like a Ziploc bag. Very close. So I'm assuming I can reuse this. Super, super cute packaging. All the same. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try on these outfits and some bottoms because that's what I'm having a hard time with. So this is the first item. Um, it's a tank top and it like you can tie tie it into a bow. Really, really cute. Um, and it's also got that, you know, that little baby doll look. So it is more so of a flirty top, but I mean, you can still be sexy, right? When you're pregnant, um, it is spaghetti straps um, and it's got this like scrunch. So I have some space for when I start to expand. Now, keep in mind, I did order a size up. So normally I'd be a medium in shirts. So I did a large and I think one of these outfits I did an extra large. Um, I will make sure I put it up like in this corner what the sizes are for each item I put on um, I went with a mint green I think there's like white red yellow or blue something like that there's a lot of different options for the colors but I don't have a lot of green so I decided to go with this one what do you think super cute plenty of room Alright guys, so this is the second look. Um, it's a super, super soft, really cute, flowy white cami with some lace um, for the details. You can probably do a, like a strapless bra, a bandeau, or even a bra, like I have a regular one on. Um, it's probably showing in the back, but you can adjust it, so that's really nice about this too. It is spacious. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it the whole pregnancy, but at least probably a few more months. Um, so yeah, this is the second look. What do you think? This is look number three. It's a mid-length um, cami dress. I think it has adjustable straps. Again, super soft, really cute, a little bit girly, a little bit dressed down, so you can probably wear it as like an everyday type of thing, maybe to run errands or go to an appointment. Um, I have plenty of room in it, and yeah, it's just really comfy, and comfy is the way to go during pregnancy. Um, I'm going to insert a clip over here of the full length because obviously you can't see it from this angle. But let me know what you guys think. Cute?
Okay, so I think this is my favorite, um, but I'm not going to be biased because I bought all of these. Um, so this is look number four. This is a white ribbed dress. It also has slits on the side, and I'll insert that clip over here because I did a full turnaround on this one. Um, this one's really comfy too. Plenty of room. And um, it's actually stretchy. I'm feeling like it's really stretchy, like on the legs too and on the on the um, midsection, but it also is flattering at the same time. Like it looks like it could be tight, but it also looks like I can grow bigger and bigger with this. Um, so yeah, really cute, no adjustable straps. So just make sure you order your right size or like a size up if you're pregnant. If not, maybe a size down because it is a little bit big. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It is a little bit It is a little bit see-through on the bottoms, so I just to make sure you wear something discreet. Um, or you could probably get away with wearing like some spandex shorts or something like that, maybe white, tan, just so it goes, but it's okay to be see-through, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could wear this to the beach. Um, so let me know what you think. I don't know. I like it. Number six, um, it's like a really cute, comfy tie-dye romper, and you actually tie the straps to your liking, so I love that. This is like look number one, where you tie it. Um, it's got like a little bit of a low V in the back, in the front, so you can like pull it up and make it tight, or I don't know. I actually ordered an extra large, and I'm glad I did, because... Um, I feel like the large actually would have been too tight, so this gives me plenty of room, especially growing, and then I can just adjust this to give myself more room. Um, it has shorts, obviously it's a romper, so it's, you know, it's appropriate, it's comfortable, mainly like maybe to go to the air, to run errands or go to the beach. Um, yeah, I actually really recommend this outfit, it's so cute, let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, so that was the end of my try-on haul. What did you all think? So my overall reviews were for Shein.com. Um, the material was amazing, like super soft, really comfy, but I ordered a size up, which was the wrong size for my bottom, so I'm a medium regularly, so I should be, um, or my regular size is medium, so I should be a medium in maternity, but instead I ordered a large. So right now it doesn't fit, but I know that when I start to grow the bump, it's going to fit perfectly, and it's already really comfortable. I just have a lot of room in the belly area. Um, so yeah, I'll grow into those. For the shirts and for the dresses, I think I picked the right size because it was comfortable, but I still had some, you know, plenty of room to grow. Um, and on the romper and the first look, I could adjust it with the straps. So that's really convenient and nice. Um, so yeah, what did you guys think? Comment down below. Uh, what companies do you recommend for bottoms and what thrift stores do you like? I love to go thrifting, but I cannot, for the life of me, find anything in maternity bottoms at thrift stores. Like I found dresses and shirts and stuff like that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for the next one. We're dropping our first ultrasound maybe at the beginning of this video. So yeah, we hope you enjoy and let us know.